This is exclusively for you, Rays fans. If you're not a Rays fan, continue to watch because we will make you Rays fans. Amen. Uh, <laughs> we will, we want to, <clears throat> as the off season continues, as we get closer to the regular season, we want to keep talking about the Rays and we want to have as much content as we can for the Rays because we are both diehard Rays fans and our producer as well. Um, he's ready to talk a little Rays as well. Mm -hmm. Um, we want to talk with, you know, with the recent signing of Yoshi. Yoshi. Uh, we want to talk to potential starting lineup. Now, here's the thing. There are, there is room for more moves to be made, but I think the bulk of the Rays offseason moves have been made. Uh, the one thing I would like to see them do is make a move for another outfielder because the only three solidified outfielders we have right now are Kiermaier, Meadows, and Renfro. Solid. So... Yoshi can play outfield. I don't think he's a great outfielder. Um, and I'm looking at our roster. There's not really anyone else you can throw out there. Maybe Mike Brousseau. Um, you could, I think they put Yandy Diaz even out there a couple of times last year. Uh, but we need more depth, depth in the outfield. Yeah. So I'd love to see that. Uh, I also would like to see a move for a catcher. Because right now we got Mike Zanino, who we just re-signed, and Michael Perez. Uh, both guys not great. I personally would like to see Michael Perez take the starting job unless we're to make another move for another catcher. But with what we have now, we want to make a potential starting lineup. Kyle, who would you love to see in the leading off for the Tampa Bay Rays on March 26th against Pittsburgh Pirates? Leading off. That's a great question. I think I, think I want to... Let's we'll start it off with the hot bat. Let's go Meadows. I'm going Meadows as well. Meadows Meadows led off for a, you know a lot of the year. He led off against the Houston Astros in the very first game of last year. Hit a homer off Justin Verlander. Uh, maybe he'll do the same thing again against whoever Pittsburgh throws out there. Chris Archer. Chris Archer. <laughs> that would be awesome. Welcome back. He's not good enough to be their <laughs> opening day starter, though. But, yeah, I think Meadows... And I was kind of thinking also, you know, Meadows does kind of strike out a lot. You don't really want that in a leadoff guy. But most of the Rays strike out a lot. <laughs> there really is no compromise yeah, for that. Especially when Garrett Cole's pitching. Yeah, which we'll be seeing a lot of that this year. So Meadows, you know, lefty bat up there. And we'll probably be starting him in either right or left field. Yeah. Uh, him and Renfro can um, flip-flop there. So Meadows will be leadoff. Um we're pulling for him to make another all-star appearance this year. Um, and there is also, we're also starting a campaign for Meadows for MVP. Yeah. We also tried to get it going Willie. last year, but yeah. Walk off Willie. Willie, yeah. He's, he's always my MVP. All right. Number two. This, now, this is, this is where it gets dicey because the, we know the Rays mix and match a lot. They could really go anyone in the two-hole. Um, personally, I would like to see Brandon Lau hit second. Brandon Lau? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say him or Yandy. Him or Yandy, yeah. I would love to see Yandy playing third. Yandy, I definitely would like to see playing third. Brandon Lau at second base. Yeah. Um, hoping for him to make the all-star team again. And also maybe, you know, add even more power to his bat this offseason. Um, would like for him to strike out less as well. Him and him and Meadows were just struck out a lot this year. Um, number three. Number three. You know who I'm thinking? You know who I'm thinking, Connor? Are you thinking? Choi Boy! Choi Boy! Yeah. Choi Boy's assemble. G-Man Choi, the best three hitter of all time. The best human being of all time. Best human being of all time. <laughs> Was a was just uh, he's 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 jumped around the league for a little bit. I think he's in his year twenty eight season. Not not his twenty eight season. His age twenty eight season. I was gonna say, <laughs> wow, that actually wouldn't surprise me. If he's impressive in career here. Um, oh no, he he definitely doesn't look like he's been in the league twenty eight years. He, yeah, have you seen his face? 
He's he's only been alive twenty eight years. <laughs> yeah. Um. He's found his spot in Tampa. He just has. He has found his spot. Um. And it this this is the year that G Man takes over the league. Yeah. This is the year that G Man takes over the world. G Man <laughs> take over the world. G Man for president. So you know what? Let let instead you know you said we'll have James Harden locked up by Donald Trump. Yeah, G Man. We'll have yeah. G Man lock him up. Hashtag yeah. arrest James Harden. Hashtag G Man for president. <laughs> yeah. G Man for president. We're starting a campaign. Make Meadow these hashtags team. go trending. G Man for president. We'll send you a whiteboard. We'll send you a whiteboard. If you share this, if you share the G Man for president um, with five friends, um, and also hashtag arrest James Harden. They got to both be in the same place. Arrest James Harden. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, I just don't see him going anywhere else with the number three hitter. Maybe throw Yandy in there at three. Yandy could really go anywhere in the lineup, but I think G Man, if you know, if we establish him there, let him be one of those guys that kind of sticks at a spot the whole year because they, they'll move guys around the whole year. But I think G Man is that guy where if you stick him in that spot and keep him there, like he's gonna flourish. Who do you, where do you got him playing? Do you got him in the DH or do you got him at first? I got him at first. I think him and Yoshi can, um, both of them can switch DH first base. Uh, I think from, I haven't really seen, I've only seen Yoshi's hitting highlights, not his fielding highlights. I've heard he's a de decent defender, but I think G-Man really has gone under the radar defensively as well. Oh, Made yeah. some great plays in the ALDS. Yeah. Um, I think, I think he definitely needs to be starting at first base. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Like I said, him and Yoshi could switch. Mm. Uh, yeah. Meadows and right. Lau at second. G-Man at first. Who we got hitting cleanup? Mm. Well. DJ Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to have to pass on that. Maybe Hunter Renfro? Yeah, I think, I think Hunter Renfro is where we want to go with cleanup. Uh, having him hit in back to back with G Man could potentially be dangerous, like for other teams, not for us. Uh, if Renfro, you know, is the player that everyone's saying that he can be, um, Yandi is another one you could throw in there uh, at cleanup. I see Nate Nate Lowe potentially could be one if he, you know, if he steps up. Right. Uh, but I think you know, I think opening day, I think we see Renfro hitting cleanup. Yeah, I would think so. It makes the most sense. Yeah. Hitting fifth. Um, Maybe Yoshi? I think Yoshi can hit fifth for sure. I think that would be a good spot for him. Because I think, because then you got, <clears throat> you got three lefties in Meadows, Lau, and Choi. Mm -hmm. And then you go Renfro, he's a righty hitting fourth. And then you go back to lefty um, with, with the fifth spot. You do you do want to kind of mix and match with your righties and lefties. You don't want to be you don't want to have too much of one, um, especially um, you know if we're facing a lot of righties, you do want to have uh, more lefties than righties. But you don't want to have all lefties because then the pitcher, you know, he could get really hone in on. Yeah, he can get into a group. So that's why I would personally have Renfro at four and Yoshi at five, and Yoshi will will probably have DH. Yep, six. Um... So we got Kiermaier. Let's think about positions real quick. We have our first baseman, second baseman, third, left field, right field, DH, a third. Because <coughs> we put Yandy in there. Well, that's where Yandy can hit six. Well, how many places are we putting Yandy? Well, this was where we can put him opening day. Uh, I mean, I Yandy can hit leadoff. He hit a leadoff homer against the Athletics in the wild card game. I mean, okay, he, so you weren't, you didn't have Yandy set anywhere in your lineup. I didn't. Yet. You were just, I was saying just saying where he could. That guy could hit anywhere. He could hit top of the order. He could hit cleanup. He could hit bottom of the order. Okay. Um, yeah. okay. And he doesn't strike out a lot. He's that's why I could. That's why I say he could hit anywhere. I would say let's put him six, um, and have him play third base. Yeah. I'm excited for a big Yandy season. Oh, Mr. Biceps Mr. is going to be back in full power. <laughs> We're going to get some big dingers this year. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. And then, I, I mean, last year, last, <laughs> last year, we just saw a glimpse of Yandy. Had a, you know, just came out 
you know, it just came out hot the beginning of the year, had an injury that sidelined him for a big portion of the year. Yeah. And then literally returned final game of the season. Played pretty well. And then Kevin Cash throws him in at leadoff in the wild card game against Sean Mania, who was mm-hmm. one of the best pitchers down the stretch last year. We're like, Cash, you've made every dumb decision in the book. Most of them have worked out. This is another dumb decision. We'll see if it works out. What did he do? He had two home runs. Um, this is our guy. Yandy's yeah. our guy. Uh, I'm so excited for Yandy's season. Just We just hope and pray that he stays healthy. Now we got – so we're missing our shortstop, catcher, and center field. Yep. So, seven, eight, nine. Where do we go with that? Mm-hmm. Why is six for eight, seven? Why was six for eight, seven? Because seven, eight, nine. What? Seven, eight. Yeah, you, you said seven, eight. <laughs> nine got eight? Nine got eaten by seven? Yeah. When did that happen? Anyway. This um, is fake news. <laughs> um, I personally would have whoever our catcher is hitting seventh. Yeah. Either Zanino or Perez. Or if we make a move, if we make a blockbuster move for a catcher, I continue to hear Wilson Contreras being in the talks there. If we pick him up, I wouldn't mind hitting him seventh. Also, I mean, he's a guy that can hit you know higher up in the lineup. But what, what we got now, either Perez or Zanino, and I'm – I hate to say it, but I think they're going to have Zanino be the starting, the opening day starting catcher. Yeah, I think they will too. I mean, they just re-signed him. Yeah. I think they'll utilize that. And I don't doubt that, you know, they can work with him this year. Um, We've seen, you know, guys in the Rays organization go from, you know, just terrible to being a decent player. So then we move to eight and nine. I think in the eight spot, I would put um, Kevin Kiermaier. You put Kevin at eight? Yeah. Walk off Willie, cleaning it all up at nine. I think you can go either way with um, eight and nine. I personally, I think I would rather have Kevin hitting ninth because I think he has, well, I don't know. I'm thinking about who has a better ability to get on base, but I'm also thinking about the fact that Kevin does strike out more than Willie, I think. So maybe we put Willie at nine because the nine spot, you know, gets overlooked a lot. You think you just put your worst hitter at the nine spot. Your nine hitter is the guy who's supposed to set up the top of the order. Right. You want to, and even eight and nine, you want those guys to be able to get on base so that the top of the order can, can drive in runs. So I think you can go either way with that. Um, I, I think I actually will go with what you said. I think I'll put Willie at nine. And he did hit ninth a lot of the season this year and was great. Most most home runs by a shortstop in race history. I think he hit 22 or I think he maybe 20. Hit two home runs in the playoffs. Absolute bombs. He's got a lot of power, one of the best defensive shortstops in the league. This dude is going to go under the radar this year. I think he's a guy that can make the all-star team. MVP and watch. We're gonna, and we're going to campaign for MVP. MVP watch. Willie Adamas. And then Kiermaier, obviously, he's our franchise guy. Uh, he's the longest tenured Ray active, uh, has been here since 2013. And, you know, he's, you know, expressed his desire to stay with the Rays. He's got a great glove. He does. Um, he's a fan favorite. Um, he definitely makes the starting lineup. So there you have it. Our starting lineup. We got Meadows, Lau, G-Man, uh, Renfro, Yoshi, Yandi, Zanino, Kiermaier, and Adamas. Yeah. That, that sounds like a winning starting lineup to me. When I hear that lineup, all I think about is the World Series. Mm. Yep. That's all I think about. Um, we are going to get into 2020. the starting rotation and the bullpen in a different video, different podcast. Be on the watch for that. Like I said, we want to provide as much content as we can and spread it out over the course of the offseason because we know that you Rays fans can get a little antsy when it comes to baseball because us Rays fans, best fan base in the country, in the MLB. We love our baseball, so we're going to have to try to have as much as we can for you during the winter and as we lead in the spring. Mm. Yep. Um, with that being said, we have to go to our final segment. Thanks for watching Elevated Sports. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment down below. 
uh, hit the notification bell. Be reminded of when there's new videos coming out every uh, throughout the whole week, every day. And um, hit the links below to subscribe, to follow the podcast, whatever you do with it. Um, you can stream the podcast on Spotify or Apple Music. And Apple Podcast. Apple Podcast. And Apple Music. And, and Apple Music. And, all that. and Spotify. Yeah. All right. And everything your heart desires. This and it'll be delightful. Way longer than it's supposed to be.